Hmm, which room to check first? Ooh, I'm liking the look at this re Oh, well that answers that, doesn't it? The room is locked. Okay. <gasps> Can't just leave it open like that. That's not good. I am liking the look of this place. It's green. <laughs> yes! Destroyed, mate! Destro I like the green ones because it just makes it so easy. So, so easy. Oh, yellow. Don't like you. All right, a chest! Joker, it's a treasure chest! Yeah, but... But the yellow... Like... The yellow... The yellow... Ryuji. Open the door. Open the door. All right, that's, that's sorted. Go! Kick it in! Leg it. Leg it, leg it, leg it. You won't escape. Stop resisting. Hang on a sec, Joker. That room's giving off a unique reading compared to the others in the area. It might be like the video room we found. Will you try checking that out? It could turn up some clues. Although, it looks like it doesn't open from this side. So we're gonna have to go the long way around. Yes. I agree with Oracle. It may not be a direct route to the treasure, but it's definitely something. We should make that room our goal for now as we progress. Mm hmm. So we've got three rooms around. And we've got a tentacle brain jar. I really, really wanted like a real life tentacle brain jar. Not a real brain or a real tentacle, but the jar? Yeah. Um, hi. Enemies! Don't worry though, they're no big deal. Hmm. Part of me is sort of like, oh, I can't be bothered. <laughs> It's like, you know, let's just escape. I don't feel I need, like, the XP or anything. And that'll get them out of the room, won't it? So it's sort of like, eh. That allows to get through. Right, moving on. Saved as Bothering. Yellow. It's like, I want next to the door, please, because then I can get through the door. Da -da -da. Over there. Through the door. The, the door, Joker. The, Joker, the door. Joker. Fine. Hmm. Tentacle brain jar. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Okay. There's a will seed near here. Okay, so down here. Open up. Let me in. Oh, I'm in. How do I get in there? Then? At least we know there's one around. Yellow, yellow. Oh, stop being yellow, be green. So room over that security door. Back. Down we go. Oh. Another one of those doors. Deja effing vu. What do you want to do? Might as well check it out for now, right? No, I don't want to check. I don't. Uh, fine. I know how it works. Security lock currently engaged. Please answer the following identity authentication question. Which was... M Wait, what? What was missing that caused the research into cognitive science with a P to be shut down? Uh, yeah. I, I, I got no clue, again. You're the one who wanted to check out the door. Answer the question, Ryuji. Guessing the answer to a question this specific is pretty tough. I don't know what we'd even guess. And what if we go check out the room Oracle Senpai told us... Uh, told us about, yes. Maybe we'll find the answer. Or some kind of hint in there. Yes. Sounds good to me. Let's find a way into that room. That's what I was trying to do. Dear, oh dear. Just spin me right round, baby, right round there. Where does this go? Where does this go? Huh. Interesting. That's locked as well. There's a strong shadow ahead. 
You should be careful. Huh? Oh, a treasure chest. Let's open it. I'm not bothered about the chest. Seeing if there's somewhere I can get down there. Down there. Where, where's the um, will seed? Is there a way to get there from here? Maybe, maybe not. Oh. Yeah, it's locked. Open it up. So maybe it's all. Ooh! Sona for golden chess. Duh. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe not. It's gonna be something more like that. Do Hello! Run, 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 run. You won't escape! I will. Run! Um. Bye! I'm gonna escape just out of pure principle. <laughs> you can't get me! Uh oh. Hey, no, I'm I'm lagging it. You're not gonna get me. <laughs> Joker, you need to be careful, not care less. I was playing with it. I'm completely fine. Don't you worry. Waiting for that one to disappear now. Right, where were we? We were here. There we go. Another video. Like the one we watched before. Don't like the idea of spying on somebody's past, but we clearly don't have a choice in the matter. If watching this is our ticket forward, then I guess that's what we're doing. Damn it! Just hearing it from you's pissing me off. Let's put this scene on auto. I just feel like this one should just play out based on the last one. You've come so far. What problem could they possibly have now? I tried negotiating in person with the professor and the investors, but they simply wouldn't listen. Due to the lack of concrete evidence, all further research and funding in the field of cognitive science will cease. <sighs> they told me it's already over and done with. But why now, of all times? When they first saw my paper, they were positively beaming with excitement. In the research lab in Odaiba? They're not going through with that anymore? Yep. Damn it. To hell with their concrete evidence. How are we supposed to get any evidence if we can't perform the research first? If we can change the cognition of trauma victims, their suffering can be eliminated. Who knows how many people could be saved with this research? How much more obvious could its benefits be? So, do you really think the lack of evidence is the reason they shut it all down? <sighs> it makes absolutely no sense to me. After all the time and money spent, to just cut off my research because it wasn't all proven sound immediately. Even if that was the result of some kind of conspiracy, what could I do about it? It's not like I have any proof. I see. So, what are you gonna do now? The sponsors have backed out, so I doubt the college is gonna let you keep using their labs. I'm done with that college. They have nothing for me at this point. I'll look for work elsewhere while I keep fleshing out that research paper. Eventually, I'll prove the existence of the cognitive world. Once I've done that, no one will be able to complain. Rumi, I swear I'm going to do it. I have the power now. It cost me my life with you. So I'm going to rescue everyone from their pain. I don't care how long it takes me. It's going to happen. So that was another of Dr. Maruki's memories? Yeah, I think we all know what happened there. He got blind drunk. Yes, I believe so. Seemed to be a much more recent memory than the first one we saw, though. His research was cut off. So after the incident with his girlfriend, he progressed in his research to harness cognitive science as a healing practice. However, his research was shut down, and his career along with it. All he had left was his resolve to prove his research valid, then use it to save people. 
That seems to be the message delivered by the videos we found. It must have been his dream to use his research to save people here. If that sounds good to you, would you prefer we just turn around and go home? That isn't an option. Yeah, what she says. If anything, I've got to pull out all the stops to win this one. Well, the vote was unanimous. Something I'm trying to figure out, like... Very much that case of, like... Where's the connection to Persona 4? Now, but before you think, like, there's no connection to Persona 4. What are you on about? Persona 4 has a connection to Persona 3. And I don't mean the fact they went to the same location in... Persona 4 that I they did in Persona shadow. 3. It looks pretty strong. I'm on about a simple aspect of what happens in Persona 4 is a direct result of what happens in Persona I'll reveal your 3. Form. Simple as that. At the end of Persona... Oh, hello. I don't know this one. At the end of Persona 3, it was very much a case of everything that was being broadcast to the world was all about death and everything like that and how it was being portrayed and sent out through what? Through TVs, through media, and it was how at the end of Persona 3, media was influencing people's minds and how it changed how they thought and stuff like that, which was bringing about the problems at the end of the game. And that then goes on to be explored in Persona 4, you see. Like that idea of like, okay, the world was basically wishing for death. Another god got wind of that. Boom, that's Persona 4. So I'd expect, as a result of that, there'd be a connection in Persona 5 to Persona 4. But I've still not felt any of that, and it's kind of like, oh, that doesn't have to be, no. But it would have been nice if there was some kind of like tie-in that you could see and understand like, Oh, everything's a knock-on effect from everything that happened before. It's sort of like, yeah, I'm not feeling that here the same way I did from 3 to 4. Just just doesn't have that same aspect, unless I'm missing it, which is like, if I'm missing it, please do inform me and let me know, because I could easily overlook something like that. Oh, well, show me the money, mate. Let's see if you survive. That's not good enough. Show, show me the money. Well, Ow. So that's just a no-go there. And what I'm doing at the moment, by the way, in case you're wondering, is trying to see if there's a way to get the will seed from this location. There's also this aspect that's like, you've got the confidants as well, right? In Persona 3, the reason they were like actually introduced was this idea of like, the whole game's about death. And it's like, how do you spend your time before, you know, before, before the end, essentially. And it's like, that's the idea of like, the social links is, you've got choices, you can go spend time with certain people and learn about people you've limited on time before the end of the game, that sort of thing. It's like, that's what it's heading towards. That kind of idea. So it was like, how do, how do they make that work in um, Persona 4? They were like, okay, so you need to build bonds for what's going on here. It's like, okay, you've made that work within the idea of what's going on here. It's like, I don't feel like we have that same thing going on. Alright, you survive, you survive. I'll take it. Yeah, I don't have that same feeling that the confidants are really necessary Good work, everyone. to what's going on in Persona 5. Like, it doesn't feel like they've justified it, essentially. It's still interesting, still very important to like what Persona is these days, don't get me wrong. I'm just sort of like trying to like understand the philosophy of the games and how they're trying to interpret things and how they could have done things Whoa, better potentially. There's a strong looking one up ahead. Is there still stuff they could have done? I don't see anything like is there any Oh. <laughs> okay, that answers that. 
It's that sort of thing, I just had that thought of like, maybe I should just try using my third eye. Like, ah, oh, there we go. Fair enough. So yeah, it's just sort of like, it feels sort of... It's that case of what it feels like in Persona 5 to me is, they've got confidants, which are social links, for one reason. People expect it because of Persona 4 and, 4 and 3. That's the reason they've still got it, is because it's a mechanic that's now associated with Persona, rather than it being something that's part of the plot. Hmm, treasure skimmer anyway. Not too fussed about that. Right, uh, Megado died. No, 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 no. There's also this aspect, if we look at that more, thinking about it. With how it, it's very much like, in terms of mechanics, and why they exist, a lot of like what is in Persona 5 is because it was integral to the story of Persona 3. It's like it's a holdover from the gameplay mechanics that were integral to the story. So like the Reaper, why does the Reaper exist? Like when you're like going around doing loads of things in mementos, why does the Reaper exist? Why? There's really no reason, is there? There's absolutely no reason. Again, why is it there in Persona 4? There's no reason, right? There's absolutely no reason. Why is it there in Persona 3? Because death is always going to catch up with you. The Reaper is coming. It's literally part of the plot. So it's sort of that case of like, it just feels like they've ran out of ideas in terms of story. In terms of like how to incorporate that, how to pull it into the story. I'm fine with that, it's just, I wish they could have done that more, because I li that's the aspects I like the most about Persona 3, was how, how they incorporated these new mechanics into the story, and I'd love for that kind of thing to come back round again within Persona 6. How they do it, I'm not entirely sure, I'm not a game designer, it's just I see these aspects having gone through the personas of like how things have developed with 3, 4 and 5. It's like, yeah, they should still keep this stuff around, don't get me wrong on this at all, this is not a complaint, this is an observation. Get him, Morgana! Because it's that case of like, how could they? Let's have a thought process here. How could they have incorporated the confidants better? How could it have been more involved in the story and what you're doing, other than just, hey, these are people we met? Okay. I'm not entirely Can sure on that myself. Hmm. Like, ge genuinely don't know myself, it's just... Again, it's an observation, I don't have the answers. Ooh, hello. Interesting. That's one way to get to it. Like... For instance, here, the will seeds. These are a good gameplay mechanic that's been added in Royale that actually fits quite well within the idea of the palaces. It's just this extra little thing that's been added, but it does work with the idea of what's that's going on, essentially. Seed. This is going rather well. It's it's things like that. Could they have just dropped the confidants? That could have been an option. That would have been a big change. I don't know how that would have been taken. But that's an option. But where am I actually meant to go now? Oh yeah, there was a door, wasn't there? Where was the door? The door's over there. Okay. They had to also have that aspect of like, if they stray too far away from what Persona has become, it just goes back to basically being SMT though, doesn't it? So it's like, you gotta be careful. Gotta be careful there. One thing I did like when I was playing the Persona 4 dancing game though, was that aspect of it turned the idea of you creating bonds on its head. Now, if you've not played the dancing game for Persona 4, it's all about how bonds can actually be a bad thing. Which, again, is just the whole idea of Persona 4 just flipped, where it's like someone's desire to have bonds is a danger to the world, and it also slightly connects back to what happened in Persona 3. Like, really interesting story in that. Shame I can't do videos on it, because Atlas will be after you. Security lock currently engaged. Please answer the following identity authentication question. What was missing that caused the research in cognitive science with a P to be shut down? Success rates. Uh, 
It's like... Is no one gonna jump on that? Incorrect. Knock, knock. Disengage. I was expecting Akechi to say something. He's standing there. Mm -hmm. Looks like that wasn't it, Joker. Try again. Plausibility. Like, they seriously... Like, I want Akechi to say something here. Evidence. Like he's not gonna say anything, so. Authentication complete, disengage the lock. Yes! It opened! Let's get moving, Joker. Oh, come on. Is the next question going to be what's Maruki's favorite snack or something? Um, uh, biscuits. Like, what? We know the answer. Like we don't have to do anything, we just know we're in. People behind the counter there. They're red. Hold a moment. This is quite the change in environment. Where are we now? This is the psychological exam room. We conduct psychological tests so that we can offer patients the happiest and most ideal realities. If you are interested, please proceed down the hall and through the door to access the information panel. An exam room? Like, a hospital exam room? Perhaps... What an odd place. Um. The shadows here aren't attacking us. Don't they want to stop us? Strange as it may be, they do not seem hostile to us at all. Furthermore, I admit I'm curious as to what this exam entails. Joker, perhaps we can talk to these shadows and gather some useful information. Tangled USB cord. Ugh, the bane of my existence. I want, the, I want the safe room first before I do anything there. We found because if it ends up being a boss fight and we die, boom, we're Help. back here. Simple as that. Simple as that. You are the Phantom Thieves, I assume? Normally. I capture any intruders, but this area is free to any who wish to enter. I will grant you entrance to the exam room should you so desire. Hmm. Allowing intruders to proceed. How odd. They must be awfully confident in their exam techniques. At any rate, such progression should work in our favor. We should make sure we get our act straight for this. So what will it be? Depending on your reply, we'll have to respond accordingly. What kind of place is this? I see, so you are curious about our facilities very well. This is the lobby for the psychological exam room where we would determine if patients are mentally sound or not. We find the flaws and potential issues in a patient's heart that even they may not be aware of. Well, what exactly comprises these examinations? Red versus blue? Beyond that hall lies the special exam room. There, each patient answers three simple questions. Please tell me we're doing this. This will make it fun. Touch the information panel to begin the process. Listen to the questions and choose the elevator that corresponds with your answer. Please refrain from returning to the previous level until the exam is over, though. I think this is what this palace has been missing. It's like, it's it's been straightforward so far. It's like, it needs more fun elements. Thinking back to, like, say, the um, casino. Some of the stuff in that was really cool. Treatment will be recommended depending on the patient's diagnosis. And thinking back to the um, Futaba Palace as well. Like with the binary and stuff like that. But this treatment, just like every other step of the process, has been designed with the patient in mind. Do not worry. If no abnormalities are found after the exam's completion, you will be presented with a small gift. Ooh. For the sake of your own happiness, we ask that you answer all questions with honesty. Um. So all we have to do is choose the answer we believe to be correct. Although I am a bit hesitant to find out what they m mean by treatment. Examine a person's heart, find their pain and regret, then distort their cognition. This is just the palace version of what Dr. Mariki does in real life. And again, is very similar to what we do. Just on a, it's more like it's on a more industrial, sterilized scale. And that's really the kind of difference. Ours is, like the way we do things, is more personal. And we try to make it so they fix themselves. Rather than we fix everything for them, everything's lovely dovely. Lovely dovely. Yes. Wait. But if we make a mistake, does that mean 
They're going to change our cognitions. That's probably confined to the real world. Here, yeah, they'll probably mess with people's heads some other way. Through boss fights. Like, maybe they'll just hook you up to some machine and just... Bzzz. Yeah, they used to do that. Not good. Not good. <sighs> Don't scare me like that. Well, whatever form his treatment takes, I'm sure we want no part of it for ourselves. Standing here attempting to imagine it won't do us any good, though. Let's take the exam and see where we wind up. Indeed, let's take the exam and see where we wind up. So what's the room on the right? Um. That receptionist told us to start with the information panel. Well, I'm not going to. Oh, is that it? I want to see what's over here. Like, what's this room? I'm liking the, um... Oh, it, what are these called? It's like Rorschach tests. Am I saying that right? You can sort of see, like, how they've perfectly made it so it's like it looks... Cthulhu. Ish and all that type of stuff, the old gods. Hmm, hmm, hmm. And they've done that on purpose to make you see that. Focus. Or maybe I'm just seeing that. Maybe. Hello, patients. Here is your first question. One day at school, you see that your good friend is being led away by a group of scary people. You want to help your friend. But if you fight them alone and lose, you could easily get hurt. If you go look for a teacher, there would be no danger to you. If you don't succeed in time, your friend will most likely get hurt. Which would you do in this situation? Honestly, I'd go get help, because I'm thinking like... Like, knowing my own strength, especially when I was a kid and stuff like that, is like, I, I would not have the strength. I couldn't do anything. Only I'm going to get... Like, like, my friend's still going to get hurt, and I'm going to get hurt as well. Logically, the sensible thing is to go get someone bigger. A teacher to come stop it. That's that's my logic there. Once you made your decision, please take the corresponding elevator. Thank you. Huh? Neither answer is wrong, though. Yeah, that, that's not how it works. It's like neither answer is wrong. Just what would you do? Yeah, but this is a medical exam, not a school one. They're trying to figure out whether or not you need treatment. So maybe go with the answer that you think Dr. Maruki would pick. So we have to try and figure out which one Dr. Maruki would pick. Oh, this is going to be hard. It's hard to be sure of anything whatsoever right now. Why don't we try asking some of these other patients around here? They may only be cognitive beings, but they still have to take the exam just like we do. Maybe they can help us figure out which answer is right. right, right. Can I just guess? I want to guess. I'm with Mona. Besides, if you try and fail, at least you give it a shot. Although, I'm not opposed to just plowing our way through the whole exam, but I'm not either. It's more fun. If you refuse their treatment regimen, whatever it is, they're gonna take that. They're not gonna take that lying down. TLDR. Be ready to fight if it comes down to it. Oh, I will be. I will be. So I'm thinking Maruki would actually do this one. Like, I wouldn't, but Maruki would, is what I'm thinking. We haven't learned enough to make an informed decision. Why don't we ask people standing around here? Because I want to... Futaba said I could do that. So it's like, no, I'm just, no, I'm, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, blah, 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 blah. Like, no. No, 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 no. I want to go with Futaba's plan. Whether or not that's the right one, I don't know, don't care. I want to go with Futaba's plan, I'm just charged through. So it's like, no, I want to see if I can do that. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. So either answer's right according to that. It's like, blah, 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 blah. Do I really have to go into the room? We really have to just. I don't. No, I want to do. I no. I'm going to guess. So no. Let's review what we know. Uh, blah blah blah. Strong man. Whatever that is. Like no. They're going through it again, aren't they? It's like I am doing Futaba's plan. Let's pick her answer. I don't want to be swayed, but end, end of the discussion. I don't want to be swayed. I'm going with blue. What do you want do you to take do? Elevator A. Yes. Now, this is the one I think Maruki would do. That's all I needed to know. While risking yourself for another is admirable, it could lead to getting hurt. Injuries are not permitted in an ideal reality. But have no fear, you too can become happy. Please follow me to the counseling room. Allow us to change your way of thinking so you can finally live in paradise. 
Oh, so Maruki would think like me in that regard. Okay. See, this is why it's like, no, I wanted to find out here. This is how I wanted to find out. This is how it's the, the fun way of doing it. What? A shadow. Wait, does that mean... No, oh, it's you lot. I see. Abnormalities detected. Such dangerous thoughts require proper treatment. Hear that? Any of you interested in proper treatment? Joker. Yeah, oh, no. Time to throw down. Huh. See, this this is what I want. This is why it's like, now I was on board with Futaba's idea. Because it's like, this seems the more logical, fun way to do it. Because we learn about Maruki through doing. And then we pay for it if we get it wrong. I like that idea more. It's like, no, don't present me that option and then go like, no, you have to do that first, blah, 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 blah. It's like, no, you've taken away my choice. I don't like it. No. No. No, I don't have a choice, apparently. Uh, show me the money. All right, you, you may go, you may live, you may live. Even though we're fighting you and you're trying to... I'll take it. All it needed really was like a option saying, do you want to do that? And then if people wanted to do that and like learn how like and all, all the choices of what to do there as if it was some kind of tutorial, then yeah. But it didn't give me that option. It told me I had to do it. And that's the bit I don't like. It's the, you had to. Phew, that was close. So if we wound up in a fight after making our choice, does that mean we were wrong? Like, we got to go ask for help if we want to do the right thing. I don't buy that at all. In that setting, yeah. I think what it means is, rather than putting ourselves in danger, it's a better I idea to avoid the risk. Let's go. Um, there's no redoing this exam, so let's just switch gears and move on. Ah, right, right, right. Again, I got a better understanding of Maruki as a result of that. I feel. We made it. The second question appears to have three possible answers, though. Ooh. Okay. Right, Let's find out what we're dealing with this time. Three answers. Oh. <laughs> Can I go back in here though at least? Like get the map. That's all I care about is the map and the room over here. Because I don't want to discuss it, but I want the map. Also, why is there a red line there? It's somewhere. <gasps> Can I just bypass the whole thing? Is that an option? I'd like if that's an option as well. Just like, like nah, just sneak past. This place. Look, outside the window. That's where the elevator leads, right? Oh, they did call it an exam room. They could very well be monitoring the psychological state of every patient in the room. You mean they might be watching us this whole time? That's so creepy. Creepy is right. I just wish there was some way we could benefit from this. Maybe we can. But I don't want to. At the same time, it's like, because clearly if I check these, I'm going to find the answer. And it's like, I don't want to. No. No. No, 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 no. That defeats the purpose of what I want to do in here, because I feel like it's more fun to have the question and see if we can figure it out. It's the puzzle element. Good to see you again. Here's the second question. You have a personal dream that you really, really want to make come true. You work so hard to achieve it. But it's just not coming to fruition. It's causing you a lot of grief, but if you were to give up now, all of your hard work is sure to be for nothing. Which would you do in this situation? Well, which would I do is different to what Rimuruki would do. Keep your hard, keep up the hard work, do whatever it takes, give up for a new dream. C, I feel, is what Maruki would do based on what we know from, has been said during January. Like, we heard what happened to that, um, what were they? Yeah, they were an artist and then they're an archer. So it's like, yeah, they gave up and did a new dream. That's what Maruki would do. Please be honest about your feelings as you consider your answer. Thank you. Hmm. We don't know enough to make a decision. We should gather information. All right, let's go around and talk to these folks like we did last time. No. Can I not just, just do it? Hmm. Really? What do you want to do? Oh, I was, I was worried then. I thought it was going to just do it again. It's like, yes, this one. Rain. No abnormalities detected in query response. Please proceed to the next room. 
guess we were right, but I'm not sure how I feel about that. Yeah, it's like, there wasn't my choice. This is so much fun. But I like that much more. Ooh, five now. Ah. One, two, three, four. Oh, man, we got five choices this time? My brain can't take this shit anymore. Can we just pick a random elevator and be done with this shit? I mean, we could, couldn't we? No, though. I understand how you feel, but we can't give up before we've even tried. Come on, let's see what our question is. Let's uncover the map, though. See, there, it's like, I like that kind of, like, puzzle element to it all that we went through there. Because that, that was far more interesting for me. Hey. Let's see what the next question is, Jacob. I just want to see what this room was. Hmm. Ah. Okay. Where is the question machine? Where's the question machine? There. Welcome back yet again. Let's move on to the third question. You gain the power to steal people's hearts. Uh-huh. Thoughts, emotions, information. You can steal all of it from anyone in the world. Uh, only that. You can use this power without fear of ever getting caught. In this scenario, which sounds closest to what you would do? Steal something valuable. Never steal anything. Steal my own heart to heal. Steal evil hearts to fix society. Steal the one I love's heart. I think you like C is the one he'd go for out of that. Please follow the previous procedure to answer the question. Thank you. What? Is this question about us? Obviously, it's D. Let's roll. Actually, use your brain. You're not even trying. Hmm. So, the conditions this time are that we won't be caught. And that we can only choose one use for our ability. We should bear those in mind as we consider our answer. <laughs> Assuming you have a mind in the first place. Hey, ragging on Mona ain't cool. Oh, dear. No, no, no. Yeah, thanks, but I don't think I was the one being insulted there. Right, now let's go see what's going on here. What we got going on? This is going to be the same again. So we could just leave? So there's another one in here too. We might be able to narrow down our options. Let's see what we can learn. No! That's cheating. That's not what I want to do. It's just another room to try and narrow down the options. It's like, no, 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 no. Okay, well, we've got the map uncovered. That's the bit I wanted. So, I'm going with C. I just jumped down from here. Oh. Would have been nice. How do I get down? Can I get down? Oh, there we go. Uh, which one was C? That's B. Is it trying to trick me with, like, the letters in all different orders? A, B... Go with C. Go with C. What were the options again? <laughs> like, hold on, I'd like make sure. Welcome back yet again. Let's move on to the question. So if we could steal hearts. If we were Phantom Thieves, what would we do? So what would Maruki do? Steal something valuable, never steal anything. Steal my own heart. No, it's not it's not C. It's not C. Steal evil hearts to fix society. That's what we do do, but we don't want to do D. You steal the one I love's heart. I don't, I mean, that's what he did, but I don't think, like, that's the correct answer, so. What would he do? So it's A or B. Steal something valuable and never steal. I'm going with B. We'll go with B. Let's see. Mm, Let's what do go. You do? See if we're right. Damn it. Call yourselves happy. Is this the truth, though? Are you not merely sacrificing your true selves? Ba -bam -bam -bam. Do not forgo your right to happiness so quickly. Allow us to provide your true freedom. A shadow? Oh, shoot. So what's his logic there for the right answer? Phantom Thieves, could your true intentions be to harm our master? Well, yeah. Should there be any remnants of deceit in your hearts, I shall be the one to find and eliminate it. I hope we find out the logic there. That's the key thing I want here, the logic. Six, six, nine. You're mine. 
Well, that isn't going to do anything to either of them. What a waste of time. Um, give me the goods. I'll take it. How's that? See ya, Daddy. Level up there. <laughs> so the answer was also wrong, according to Dr. Maruki. Maybe because the answer gives the impression of suppressing your desires. Hmm. Hmm. Perhaps not wishing for happiness is a problem in and of itself to him. It's too bad we ended up in a fight, but at least we're finished with the questions. Let's switch gears and move on. Do you wonder what was the actual answer there, and what was the logic? Thank you for your patience, your examination is now complete. Please proceed to the counseling room so you may attain your happiest, most ideal reality. Huh? We messed up, but we still get to go on. But what do we get? The announcement said the treatment room's up ahead. I'm getting a bad feeling. Very intriguing, very intriguing. I hear like a treasure room though. I have something. How do, how do, how do you get to those other rooms if you go the wrong way? Oh, it looks like there's another way further up, isn't there? Maybe. Like, was that the right one? I'm not sure. Like, around here. Again, I'm after the map. Hmm. See the enemy in there. How do I get? What's that one down there? Does that? Does that? Is that the one that was meant to be the right answer, and that's taking me to the like a super awesome treasure room or something like that? Because I can hear the treasure. It's, it's, it's you can hear it. So what answer was that? So if it was A, B, C, was it D? Did I have to answer truthfully on that one? Not entirely sure. Wait, what was it? I wanted to know. Ah, well. Um, hello? Hello? Hello. It's a safe room. Care to drop in? Well, we're already here. 